Hello, chess aficionados. I've come upon this uh, fabulous article on Christmas Eve 2022. I'll provide you the link to the article from the Hello Milano. And it says, uh, you know, there was this long lost uh, pocket sized booklet that was found in this. I mean, this could be a movie. I can see some really fabulous billionaire maybe put some money in to make this a, an interesting movie how this long lost pamphlet in the, or some old library someone found it finally and then it turns out to be that some of the drawings a chess piece drawings could be done by Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci do you know why because uh, he was friends with this Pacioli guy that made this uh, booklet and this Pat Pacioli guy was supposed to be the author of uh, accounting, like the, 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 the father, excuse me, of accounting. Well, let's read this article. I'm trying to summarize this, really, but it's such fascinating stuff. So here's here's the article. And I'm going to and it's and I'm going to just uh, s summarize here. The star a story started a few years ago, 2006, when a booklet titled the Ludo Sac Scacorum about the chess game. I think it means there's another name for it in another article, but uh, anyway, was found amongst 22,000 volumes don donated by Count Guglielmo Coronini Kronberg to the Library of Gorizia, a little town in the Friuli Venezia Giulia region. Yes, prego, prego. Anyway, the booklet contained numerous practical demonstrations for moves with the relative indications for their solution. The subject of chess games with concrete applications of mathematical and logical principles was signed by Fra Luca Bartolomeo de Pacioli. This man was a Franciscan friar, great mathematician, and seminal contributor to the field of our modern accounting. I told you. I'm just going to skip through this part. Let's go. In 1497, he accepted an invitation from Duke Ludovico Sforza to come and work in Milan, where he met taught mathematics to collaborate and live with Leonardo da Vinci. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, chess aficionados, here Leonardo da Vinci. It is known, in fact, that in Milan, the two established a relationship of deep friendship and mutual cooperation. That is amazing. Did you all know this? This is fascinating stuff. To the point that in some of Leonardo's manuscripts, we can still find many traces and notes of the Pacioli lessons. Learned discussions at the Milanese court brought the two to produce three copies of the famous inspiration platonic treatise, the Divida Proportion. So we're going to skip on that. Let's go to the chess part. Based on this evidence, experts are now quite sure that the couple of friends also worked on the final version of the Ludo Scacorum. Actually, some experts think that unfortunately the original was lost, but we know of its existence through some Pacioli writings addressed to the Doge of Venice. Leonardo Loreden were decided in a request for printing privilege. Okay, there it is. See all these chess pieces. In 2008, after an intensive evaluation of the manuscript, the architect Franco Rocco, connoisseur of the history of chess, thinks that this pocket sized booklet was just a draft, probably a gift to the Marchioness of Mantua, Isabella de Este. Anyway. According to the watermark on one of its pages, the date of 1497 is sure, and Leonardo's touch is quite evident in the 114 schemes if compared to those of other contemporary chess documents. And this is this is this should be blown out there in the chess world with Chess Live magazine. Anybody out there? Come on, this should be this should be made into a movie. This is how, how it was found. I mean, it, it, it will be fabulous. Uh, 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 fiction mixed with non-fiction here. Just, uh, it will be so beautiful to create a historical um, info on this in the movie format. Rocco highlights the crucial importance of Renaissance period for the history of chess, particularly the later years of the 15th century when the medieval game was played mainly by women. Hey, you all! Hey, you all! Come on, hit the like and subscribe. Look at this. Yes, I feel like I'm the only female voice in chess right now, but look at this. It was played mostly by women, according to this article in the 15th century. Ha! Ah! To pay tribute to the feminine part of the creation. After the crowning of Isabella of Castile, Spain, 1474, 
and her crucial arrival on 7th November 1489 at the siege of Baza, the principal city of the Moorish Kingdom of Granada. The rule for the Queen Chess Peace was revised in the form called a la rabiosa, the angry, like, you know, rabies, rabiosa, anyway. The manuscript of Garisa explains the, this evolution, presenting the game according to the two variants, the previous medieval and the renaissance revised, which allows the possibility of castling, and the queen has new moves, so this was the era of, of changing rules in chess. Eh, beautiful. In comparison with older treaties where the pieces on the chessboard are indicated by their name or by outline figures similar to the ideograms, in the Pacioli 48-card manuscript, the designs of the board and the colored pawns in red and black are represented in reality clearly distinguishable from each other, characterized by perfect proportions with a refined design never seen before. The new pawns proudly invented by Leonardo. Look at this. This is almost like Frank Lloyd Wright stuff. I mean, I can see Frank Lloyd Wright, the architect, with chess pieces like this. This is kind of like special psychedelic or something. Now look at, look at, look at this. This is very interesting. Um, I wonder if they sell this kind of chess set somewhere nowadays. Anyway, since Leonardo was the first to allude to chess moves in the current usage and to show the solution of a puzzle that appears in Windsor. Uh, 12692 large sheet kept at the Windsor Castle Royal Library and unfortunately confused among the other 150 pages to the point that we could even attribute to him the innovative Queen Chess rule among his many other inventions. Anyway, so this is this is it for the article, but look, this is mm, absolutely amazing news and the fact that this was lost for so many years, hundreds of years, this booklet was uh, just amazing. I'm going to bring you some more information. I'm going to dig deeper into this and see what other articles we can find on this fabulous, fabulous story. Anyway, hit like and subscribe. Au revoir.